I bought candy from Instagram ads to see if they're actually worth it, but it's going to be a pretty difficult task. These candies are not cheap. $22.99, $24.99, $49.98. These are $4 each. And last but not least, $59.98. Bro, bringing us to a total of $194.93, which is the equivalent of 10 Haribo gummy bears, 2 family size pack of Oreos, 32 Twinkies, 7 Almond Joys, 2 extra large Domino's pizzas with pepperoni and mushrooms, and 15,000 V-Bucks. This better be the best candy I've ever had in my entire life. I've always been curious how these products hold up, so I spent the past hour browsing through Instagram and buying every ad that I saw. It did not take long at all, and every time I refreshed my feed, I got a new ad. And for some reason, Instagram is only showing me candy at the moment, which... I don't mind. I want to preface this by saying that none of the candies I'm trying today are sponsoring this video. In fact, I've never really heard of any of these companies, but they all claim to some form of virality or popularity. I personally have a hard time believing that, but we'll get to that later. For now, we're going to try each of the candies and I'm going to give my honest, unbiased opinion. And in the end, we're going to rank them all. Probably put it in like a tier list or something stupid like that. Let's get started. This is Oom Sweet. It's a brand that makes healthy candy. A lot of these companies are popping up. A health conscious choice for the pumpkin spice latte enjoyer. They remove most of the sugar, but keep it a sweet treat and add a kick of fiber. In my experience, these healthy candies are never as good as the original that they're trying to duplicate. But what caught my attention about this particular ad in company is that they have a Michelin star chef behind it. Paul Shoemaker, who I was unable to confirm as to ever having actually made shoes, but who has worked in some high class kitchens such as is Providence and the French Laundry. I'm curious what role a chef of this caliber can really play in the development of a candy, but I guess we'll see. The ad itself is nice, it's pretty, it's self-proclaimed as a viral treat, but when I did the research, I found that hard to believe when they didn't even have a single post that had reached 100 likes. But I am an optimistic. We have two types to try today. The Oomph Mini Chews, which are kind of like Starburst, and the Oomph Gummies, which is like your generic gummy candy. Let's try the gummies first. So the Oomph gummies come in three flavors. We have watermelon, pineapple, and cherry. It is a low sugar treat with each bag containing only two grams of sugar and 60 calories. Also included are some healthy ingredients like apple cider vinegar. Cause nothing says healthy like keywords. We're gonna try the watermelon first. This is candy made by a Michelin star chef. I am looking for everything right out of the box. Appearance, look, taste, smell. Is there a waiter nearby ready to pick up my fork if I drop it on the floor? My first impression is that I am very disappointed. There is nothing really special about this, no great smell. It doesn't really feel that great to hold. And I don't really, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the shape. It just looks like, this looks like Patrick's house. Let's give it a try. Oomph Gummies Watermelon. The flavor of these is actually pretty incredible. Um, for only two grams of sugar, it's amazing how much like you taste as soon as you bite into the candy. As far as texture, I wish there was a better bite to it. It feels like you're eating dots or Swedish fish, and as soon as it hits your mouth, the candy begins to dissolve, and it's not that fun. It kind of sticks to your teeth. Honestly, not too bad, but let's try the other flavors. Pineapple. Ooh. The smell of these, the pineapple ones, amazing, exquisite. It's so full of flavor. Ooh. Also, the color of these is much deeper than the watermelon one. This feels like, it, like just from looking at it, it looks like it's packed with flavor. This looks like it tastes like SpongeBob's house. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Really intense pineapple flavors. This one is packed, jam-packed with flavor. It's incredible. This one right here. Let's move on to the last flavor. Cherry. Very strong cherry flavor. Color-wise, it's nice. Looks like it's pretty packed with flavor. Mm. It's a very, like, very solid tie between cherry and pineapple. The more I'm eating these, the more I like the texture. It's not like your traditional gummy bear, but it has like this really delicious fruity aspect to it. It's almost like you're biting into a, like a piece of candied fruit. Obviously it's not, it's still candy, but it's 
Pretty solid. Now let's try the Oomph Soft Chews. These are the Oomph Soft Chews. I think they're trying to replicate Starburst, but their flavors are pretty interesting. We've got a passion fruit, lemon, and green apple. It's not that interesting, but passion fruit really interests me. Let's try this first. These mini chews, each bag is only one gram of sugar. The total is 90 calories and you get 22 grams of fiber. I like the packaging. I like how it's individual. Um, it's pretty cool that you, there's basically, I mean, there's, about eight pieces in here, which means each one will be about 10 calories and almost no sugar, which is, that's pretty incredible. From the first impression, just looking at this, I feel like a Michelin starred chef could make a prettier candy. Smell wise, I'm not getting a very strong passion fruit smell, but I do, I smell some passion in here. Yeah, let's try it. Very sticky. I don't know why, but I'm tasting something pungent, like like blue cheese or something. It's an odd taste. I, I'm getting passion fruit, very minimal amounts of passion fruit, and a lot of blue cheese. What the f- What? Compared to Starburst, there's like no chew to these. They start dissolving instantly once they're in your mouth. It's like a snowman in July. It doesn't really like- the weird thing is that it does dissolve, but it starts to stick to your teeth. And like I said earlier, there was like a pungent sort of, uh, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm crazy. Let's try the other flavors to see how it goes. But I like the gummies more so far. Up next is the green apple. <sighs> Not a very strong apple flavor. Not a strong apple scent, I mean. Ooh, that is weird. This looks a little toxic. It has stained the paper that it's wrapped in. I'm excited for this. Green apple. Just like the passion fruit, the green apple really sticks to your teeth. It's not unpleasant. It's kind of like caramel and it's not bad. There's no blue cheese taste, which I'm very thankful for. And the apple flavor, it's not bad. I wish it was stronger, like in a green apple high chew, but this is also like no sugar each piece. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. And finally, we have the Oomph Lemon Soft Chews. This one is also very stained. Um, as far as smell, this is the strongest of the three. I, I feel like this smells like lemon pledge. It smells like, it smells like lemons. It smells like very strong lemons and I'm really excited to try this. I wish it tasted better than it smelled, but um, it definitely smells better than it tasted. Not saying that it was bad. The lemon is actually my favorite one. I think it has the most flavor out of the three soft shoes, but the smell that was coming off of it was just amazing. I wish they could encapsulate more of that smell into the flavor. Lemon was the best, green apple was second, and passion fruit was actually the worst, which I'm actually surprised by. That was what I was most looking forward to. That's it for this candy. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up we have small wins because nothing says a small win like having a panic attack in the drive-thru of a Starbucks because the line is too long, but knowing that you have some candy in your center console. Small wins. We take those every day. So this company is very similar to the previous. It's a healthier gummy, less sugar, plant-based, gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan. I'm gonna stop right there. I think vegan gummies have never been able to compare to the original. You really need that gelatin in there. The animal cruelty provides such a snappy, delightful bite. And while Oomph Sweets offers a Michelin starred chef, Small Winds has this cool fun fact. It started with basketball player Jason Tatum as co-founder. I don't typically correlate basketball with good candy, but who knows, this might be a pick and roll slam dunk touchdown. We have the classic and sour combo pack, four grams of sugar each bag and 90 calories. Let's start with the classic gummies. Our flavors are peach, strawberry, green apple, and watermelon lime. This one looks like the watermelon. Hmm. Mm. I really enjoy the taste of these gummies. Like the previous one, you're missing the bite that the lack of gelatin would have provided, but there is like something more to this than the previous gummy. Like it feels, it feels like I'm putting more effort into biting the gummy and I, I like that. Mm. It still gets stuck to your teeth, but the flavors as you chew, it's pretty fantastic actually. Got ourselves a green apple. Yeah, I really like how there's a bite to it. Mm. Very solid. This is very solid. My only complaint so far is that I wish it didn't stick to your teeth as much, but 
I really am enjoying the flavor of these gummies. Up next, let's try the sour combo pack. I'm assuming this is basically the same thing as the classic pack, except it's sourified, and I love sour candy, so let's see how these match up. Beautiful, got some sour crystals on here. Mm. It's everything the classic is, but better. Wow. Mm. The peach one tastes like a peach Haribo, but it's like no sugar in here. The watermelon, excellent. This is the strawberry. Freaking amazing. Mm. Okay, I am really enjoying the textures of these gummies. Small wins, you, you get a you get a pretty big W for, for texture and taste. These are really good in my book. This next brand I'm actually pretty excited about. It's like a sour candy, but instead of the candy, they use dried fruit and put sour crystals around it. Cool concept. Initially, the design of the website, the candy, and everything really jumps out at you. It has this retro video game vibe. I like the name, there's a lore to the candy, and there's like different levels, with each increasing level being a more sour version of the candy. I got the highest level available, level 3, which they claim to be even more sour than Warheads and Toxic Waste. My one gripe, the ripest of gripes really, is that sour candy is never sour enough. I want it to be so sour that my mouth clamps up, my booty puckers, and my eyes disappear like my ancestors. But we'll see, today we have level 3 blueberries and cranberries. Let's try them out. Each bag has 0 grams of added sugar and is between 90 to 100 calories. Now bear in mind there is no added sugar but there is still a ton of sugar from the fruit itself. So it's not necessarily a low sugar treat. This is our dried cranberry. It's covered in crystals. I don't smell anything coming out of the bag but we'll see. Oh. <coughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. I see you. Oh. Wow. That is really... Mmm. This is very incredible. It's so much more sour than I thought. But it's also like not overbearingly sour. Like, I don't think it's more sour than a Warhead. In my opinion, uh, it definitely is like way more sour than any of the candies we've tried so far, which I appreciate. Like, that is, that is good. Now let's try the sour blueberries. I'm very excited. Ooh, oh, snap. This is a blueberry. These blueberries look like they've been trapped in between Pablo Escobar's couch. I mean, they're caked with white dust. Huh. Okay, my initial thoughts. They're both level three, but the blueberries are way more sour. I think something about the blueberries, it captures the acid way better than the cranberries. And you're just getting like a hit of all of these sour crystals in your mouth as you eat the blueberry. It's incredible. I feel like this will come in my mouth or something with how sour it is. Like this does not seem safe for my teeth, but I love it. Mmm. Okay, pretty incredible. I had high hopes for this and they definitely lived up to my expectations. Now let's try the next candy. I'm, I'm getting a little sick of candy, but we're almost there. Let's do some more. These are rotten gummy worms. So this company specializes in gummy worms and I love gummy worms. They're also a, they advertise like all the other ones do as a healthier gummy. I feel like if you're a small business candy, you kind of have to do something different in order to catch people's attentions. And I feel like when people try to make a candy healthier, it also like tastes a little bit worse. So we'll see how good these are because the reviews were pretty crazy. They were like, it tastes like the real thing. I kind of doubt that, but let's try. The packaging has this crazy scientist vibe to it with like mutants, monsters, whatever. The whole thing is compostable, you know, if you're Team Earth and stuff. And there's even a mini game on their website where you can play as the mascot Freaky Frank, shooting gummy worms into trash cans in outer space. I get where they're going with the design and the ambiance of this candy. It's cool, it's freaky, it's fringe. It's just a little bit too much for me. Apart from Freaky Frank, you have Mischievous Mango, Barf and Blue Raspberry, Slobber and Strawberry, and Weirdo Watermelon be extra careful of weirdo watermelon. Right now they have original and sour. Let's try the original first. Original gummy worms, each bag contains eight to nine grams of sugar and clocks in at 110 calories. There's less fiber in this and there's also more sugar, which leads me to believe that they could possibly be equivalent. Oh, 
these are not equivalent to real gummy worms. Uh, just, uh, just looking at these, right? There is a muted color to uh, all of these worms. It's, they don't look like gummy worms. They look like they've been sitting in the dirt for a while, but lots of raving reviews. Let's, let's try it. I'm having a hard time dealing with the fact that these have more sugar but taste less sweet. As far as texture goes, it definitely isn't your traditional gummy worm, but compared to the other candies, there's actually like a bite to these. It, it feels like there's substance, right? Um, yes, it's not going to be like a regular gummy worm, but the flavors are there. Tastes a little waxy. Yeah, I, I uh, don't know if I love these. I <laughs> don't really like. Original gummy worms. Not good. Not bad, but not that great either. Let's try the sour. I'm really hoping that this tastes better, but my hypothesis is that it's going to be exactly like the original, but with sour crystals, which is what it looks like. In terms of appearance, these look prettier than the regular gummies. Like there's a shine to them. They don't look dull. They. This looks like a good bite of candy. Let's see if it actually is. Okay. Mmm. Okay. The sour candies just came in and saved the day. This is way better than the original gummies. I think it's just like having that sour crystal. It like really brightens up. It livens the flavors. It brings it to life. You know, adds like some zestiness to the gummy. That's just, it's exactly what it needed. Mm-hmm. And like the textures, they're playing off each other. It's like a little tango. That's good. Sour gummies, much, much better. I rate the sours at like the top of the list so far. And the, the original gummies, it's going to be at the bottom. Somewhere over there. I'm done with ya. Let's move on to the next. And finally, we are returning back to the healthy side. Not that we ever left with Blobs, the healthy alternative gummy candy. Their website seems the simplest of all the candies I've come across. Their Instagram has less than a thousand followers, uh, but who knows? We could have a sleeper here. It's got the same marketing as the other brands, um, a streamlined design, low sugar, vegan, 50 calories. They call themselves Blobs because the candies look like Blobs. Let's hope when we taste them, we have less blah and more ah. We have a multi-pack of flavors. There's orange peach, passion fruit pineapple, and pomegranate apple. Let's try them all so that I can finally escape. Up first is the passion fruit pineapple. I'm pretty excited. I like passion fruit. I like pineapple. I'm more excited about pomegranate, but we'll get there in a little bit. So they definitely resemble blobs. Color is nice. In terms of smell, I'm getting more pineapple than passion fruit, but that's okay. I feel like pineapple has a, a stronger smell. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice texture. Wow. The bite is really nice and the flavor of this is very strong. I'd actually say this flavor is stronger than the oomph sweet. With the blobs, you can chew a lot and you get the flavor releases as you chew. That's incredible. On to the next flavor. We got pomegranate apple. I've actually never tried pomegranate in a candy before, so I'm very excited. Ooh, it does smell like pomegranate. Very nice. This looks like Patrick. Yeah, I love the textures of this. Mm. Out of all of the candies, I think this has the best mouth feel. Like it just, it feels like as I'm eating it, the candy's like caressing my mouth. I'm feeling all the nerves in my tongue be caressed, you know? Like, mm, that's the sweet embrace the blobs are giving me. I don't think I like pomegranate as a flavor in a candy. Not that I dislike it, but like you, you can get better flavors from like pineapple or like peach you know pomegranate as a candy is like pomela love the texture though incredible incredible and last of all we have orange peach i gotta say i did not have high hopes for this one i just i i felt like the i felt like the design was lazy i felt like um, calling the candies blobs were lazy because you're just like, uh, uh, we'll, 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 we'll put out the candy in any kind of shape and just call it a blob. I thought the design of the site was lazy. There's less than a thousand followers on this thing. Orange peach. 
Mm. That flavor though. This is the first one of these three where I'm actually tasting the flavor of both fruits, the orange and the peach. They match together so well. It hits you up front with the orange flavor and then you get a nice like, you get nice tones of peach, like a peachy tone throughout the chewing experience. And then it rounds it back again, like a circular story with the orange. It, 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 everything just ties together. Like it, um, it's a circle, it's a chain of flavor and you're just, you're on this ride of flavor up and down and it just takes you around town. You get the orange and the peach and everything. You're riding the peach hard, long, trying to get the most out of it. And then like you get to a point where you're like, oh, I'm sick of the peach. And then and in the, circ the cycle, the cycle, it continues back to the orange and you're like, wow, I, I forgot about orange. I forgot orange could be good, but it's way better. And now that I've experienced the peach, I can enjoy the orange as well. Flops. I like them. Okay, now that we've had all the candies, I'm going to rank them in order of best to worst. Coming in in last place, I'm going to have to put these original flavored rotten gummy worms. I just did not like the texture. I thought the flavor was just not there. And overall, it was more expensive than all the other ones. So you're in last place, you loser. After that is going to be the Oomph Soft Chews because I felt like these just didn't really have a lot of flavor to them. I like how there are barely any sugar, but apart from that, it, it just feels like if I were going to eat something like that, I'd rather have Starburst and, and take the diabetes, you know? Coming right after that is the Oomph Gummies. These were the biggest disappointment of the night. Actually, this whole company is that, dude, you, I, what did the Michelin chef do? Tell me what he did. Point me to what he did. Did he come up with the name? Is that it? Because I... I'm not really getting any Michelin vibes here, okay? I just feel like it's a very subpar product and they try to put some like name behind it to push it forward and it did not work. I mean, it worked on me in the fact that I bought it and I thought it would be a really good candy made by a Michelin star chef. But now that I've had it, I realize the truth. Coming up next, we have the small wins. The small wins, they beat out the oomph sweets and they beat out the original gummies because I just feel like they have a better bite to them. I feel like the flavors are better, especially the Sour Pack. I felt like the Sour Pack was just spot on amazing. I liked it a lot and it surprised me. And in third place, we have the Final Boss Candies. I really enjoyed these. I, I, I really like the fact that they use dried fruit instead of candy. It actually makes it unhealthier because there's way more sugar in this than say like a bag of Small Wins or a bag of Oom Sweets. Like you're getting about 20 grams or more per little thingy of your fruit, but the sourness is unparalleled. It, it just is like, is great as a little sour treat and I like it a lot. In second place, we have the Sour Rotten Gummies. Honestly, just having those sour crystals changed so much about the texture of the gummy that it made it just way better. Like. Sour ones, incredible, incredible, in freaking credible. And in first place, because it surprised me so much, it's these blobs. I really thought they were going to be the worst. Uh, honestly, I think this might be a lesson in expectations because the blobs, I had no expectations for them. I thought they were going to be just bl disgusting blobs. I thought they were going to be blobs. I know they're blobs, you know, but I, I tried them. I liked all of them and the flavors, they made sense to me. They were great. They like gave you enough that you wanted more, you know? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this video. These are all the candies that I bought on Instagram through ads. If you have any ads that you would like me to peruse, just to look at, just to buy, just to see if, if they're good or not, you know, let me know, let me know. Don't get scammed yourself. Give me the ad and I'll, I'll, I'll get scammed. Yeah. <laughs>